Hey, what's up? You're watching Jermaine Morgan TV, and today I'm going to break down lick number three. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to Jermaine Morgan TV. And today I'm going to break down lick number three. We're on week three of uh, the lick of the weeks. So if you're wondering about my voice, if you've been here more than once, I'm a little slightly hoarse under the weather, fighting the elements, you know what I mean. But uh, nevertheless, we're moving on with this lick. This is a cool lick. Uh, like a, For me, I use it in moments like I can use it in a major or a minor um key depends on how I'm trying to get back to the one and it's a good it's a good way to turn around and get you back to the one um, we're in the key of D for the sake of the example today you heard me playing it earlier but I'll play it again just so you can hear it in context As you can hear, it's a lot of little hammer-ons and pull-offs. Now, the thing about this lick, you can play it more than one way. In this particular example, I'm slapping, uh, thumping, or whatever you want to call uh, thumping and popping the lick. And so I start, um, it's built off a major pentatonic, a D major pentatonic. It's built off of that, a D major pentatonic. I'll slow it down. Again. Even slower. And so the way that the lick is following is is coming on the E of uh you know one e and a if you're counting that way one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and ba, ba, da, ba, ba, da, do, 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 do. so it's and i'm kind of gracing off of that d first and then i i'm pulling off and hammering that's up to you however you want to do it for sound preferences but the way i'm doing so let's get that first part. Again. Again. So that that when we do that part, it just goes straight down. time slow and I'm gracing off of that F and just a little grace note now the same lick can be played just straight um, you know playing it finger style Again. 
Same notes, we're just playing fingerstyle. Now how it falls in the groove that I was playing, I was playing a progression. One, to the six, to the four, to the two. I played that lick over the two, but you can use it almost over anything getting back to the one when you're in a major key. You can use it over that four. It just lands you back on the one. So you got several options of where you can use this in a major key or if you're in a, a dominant key. It really doesn't matter if it's wide open. Uh, you can use it over the five. Or you can use it over the four. Or you can use it over the two. It's just a turnaround uh, point in a major or dominant key to get you back to the one. So so we're using it there in a dominant sound. So the choice is yours, it's totally up to you how you want to use it, where you want to use it. This is just a lick you can add to your plan. So this is it for lick three, uh, lick of the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this, go over to my website right now, sign up for the mailing list and receive three brand new licks. And I'll see you guys over there. Thank you for watching, take care, I'm out, peace.